Yeah, what's up, y'all? Hey, hey, I can, I can now, I can now represent my motherfucking team with motherfucking pride. What the motherfuck is up, bitch? What's up, motherfucker? Hey, yo, Lakers, 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 Lakers. Go fuck yourself, fuck a bitch. Ayo, Lakers fans, how y'all motherfucking feeling? Magic gone, LeBron's aging, uh -huh. all y'all young motherfuckers, uh, <laughs> y'all panicking and shit. What the fuck is up? We back up oh, no more seven years this time, bitch. It's, it's zero months, zero months, zero days. I'm talking my shit. What's good, y'all? Your boy, Mr. 2K Guy. We back up in this bitch. Yo, I'm hyped, I'm hyped as fuck. Oh, Christ, Lord. Hey, Orlando Magic, we going back to the fucking playoffs. I can stunt my team off with pride now. Oh, fuck Dwight Howard. Yo, we going to hop into, and this is honestly, I heard Germ of Dirty and Nasty or Suicide 2, and that's why I first had became a fan of Suicide Boys. It's, it's documented. Y'all y'all know where the links is and shit. Hey, yo. Is your team in the playoffs, bitch? That's, uh, yo, on oh my fuck. Track one. Rambo. Wait a motherfucking minute. Wait. Wait a minute, bro. Wait. Wait a minute, bro. I got a big ass head. Fuck. I'm finna. Y'all hear that? Do do do. Wait. But it's shit like this that makes me love the underground so motherfucking much because. Not like, like, you know, the underground is, you know, basically what we call it, the underground. Not much traction goes on underneath the underground. And honestly, 500,000 plays for a month is actually pretty fucking good for Germ. And my, but I'd expect, I'd expect more, to be honest. I don't know why I'd expect more, but that first track right there, whew, I love the fucking, like, it's a catchy ass, crazy ass. Hardcore ass motherfucking song, and I love German's fucking energy, bro. Track two, necklace featuring. No Don't oh fucking hell, that's right. Him and Lil Nar are fucking cool. Y'all, a new. I'm getting a new computer soon. I swear to God, that broken down piece of shit. It's over. This shit fit. This shit finna be fire. What was the other song by Lil Nar? Wait. <laughs> Bro, cut him off and then play that beat. Yes. What what mainly makes me love a song? I feel like people don't really explain why they love a song. So I feel like number one, it's 50-50 for me. It's the beat and the artist. If an artist can properly flow, hey, look, I'm not giving y'all the finger, but if that's what y'all want, then fuck. Like, I feel like Germ has the voice. Who else, man? I can't really, I can't fucking think, bro. But every time you know you hear their voice, you be like, bro, give them a dope-ass motherfucking beat, and that shit is going to be a fucking hit. Track three, Dirty Fago. <laughs> Back in the day. That's all I know. Bro. 
and shit. Bro, I tell you, it's 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 hard out here, man. I tell you, bro. Oh, in terms of the music industry, man, because like recently I've been thinking about college, and it's it's starting to get to the point where it's like I'm about to be like, fuck this shit. And how I'm getting on this topic because you know, I, just you know, I like Jerm as an artist. I think he is the type of artist if you call him up and you ask him, yo, my nigga, give me a motherfucking chorus, he will give you that fucking chorus that could possibly potentially be a hit. But what I'm saying is. In terms, cause, cause in music you're not, not guaranteed, and also in fucking school you're not guaranteed as well, man. So it, it's just like, bro, what would you rather do? Would you rather save some money up? Don't don't do no college shit. Save your family some money, or would you rather go down a path where you got to go to school for four years? Take some fucking loans, all that other bullshit, then be in debt, do all this other bullshit, and then on top of that, not being able to find a fucking job in the in the major that you graduated with? That's some fucking bullshit. Fuck, bro. Track four. Pat not them. This shit is classy. You know what the fuck going on, man? In it, <laughs> in it, man, in it. Track five, bloody shoes. This shit finna be, this shit finna be flames. Producing this motherfucker. Who is doing it? Who is doing it? Who producing this bitch? I'm gonna need Spotify to start showing. Dude, producers do not get the fucking credit that they deserve, man. And and, and I'm not and I'm not throwing germ under the bus. I'm mainly throwing it at Spotify. I think it might be Spotify. I don't know, but you know when you go on when you go on SoundCloud and when you see a track, most artists have the producer in the title. On Spotify, that shit's a whole different story, man. And track, ooh, Puya, 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 Puya's coming out with an album, I think. Sometimes, I don't know. He's making an album though. Track six, five, five, wet him up. <laughs> This motherfucker germ is is breaking necks right now. He breaking dude track track seven I think what the fuck oh Jeezy is cool with fucking germs say you swear to god man I need to throw some hand throws on this motherfucker bust down that's what your bitch is bust down yeah she about to throw that motherfucking ass back in the motherfucking tornado circle in the trenches great show dog out the motherfucking I'm a charmer. Need my money Friday like Big Warner. She's firm. Nice with curly hair to send a perm. I'm a charmer. Need my money Friday like Big Warner. She's firm. They is cool. Curly hair to send a perm. Bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down. On the performance that he's putting up right now, the features are doing good too. Lil Nar even put up a good feature. 
Bro, what the fuck? Track eight, you dig. God damn. Bro. It's been two years since Dirty or Nasty or Suicide came out, y'all. Like crazy. Y'all like... I'm sorry for taking this long to do this shit, like, and the crazy thing is I enjoy this shit so much. The only song that I did not enjoy was You Dig, and that was fucking it, bro. Like, I fuck with this shit heavy, bro. I most definitely, because, like, every single song, I swear I want to put every single song on my playlist, without a fucking doubt. Track uh, 10, Pint of a Corn. This nigga got a, a, a fucking what? A corn, like, a foot? This tape just gave me all kinds of vibes just because of the different types of the different types of styles that I'm feeling right now. Send me albums. Send me albums. Send me albums. Because over the past two years, we never really lit. I mean, we listened to albums, but we never went back in time to listen to albums. Because, like I said, you know, the Germ album came out last month. I'm a month late. So then that made me that made me think like bro what other because I'm really enjoying this album what other albums are out there that are like some good ass albums that I probably never heard because there's a lot of albums that I've never heard oh my god bro awkward card this bitch about to be booing where's when's Dirty and Nasty Suicide three coming out when the fuck are the next sagas coming out when like when when is fucking Southside Suicide two coming out. When is dr dro a drop out of school two coming out, dude? When is all of this shit coming out? Final track, awkward car drive. There's nothing else for me to fucking say. There's nothing for me else to say, bro, but this fucking tape. I enjoyed this tape so much that I did. I, because, uh, like, I was coming up in this bitch not expecting what the hell to expect. Because the last time I heard Jerm was two years ago when Dirty or Nasty or Suicide came out. That was when I was basically only I I only listened to that to that joint because of the because of the boys. I really wasn't paying attention to Germ in that tape. So for me to come back, not come back, but for me to come to this tape here for the first time and then get a good glimpse of Germ for the first time, bro, I fucking love this shit so damn much. So does this album get a fucking up for me, motherfucker? Yes. I, like like I said, bro, I said this already. This fucking album is going in my fucking playlist. It is, I'm going to listen to it while I'm making pizza. Shit. So this be your boy, Mr. 2K God. And I'm out this bitch.